How does it feel, broadcaster, journalist, host of the year? It's um, it's a moment. To be fair, it's um, it's an honour. It really, really is. It's an absolute honour. You know, I didn't expect to get this award tonight, um, but yeah, you know, it's ten years this year that I've been doing this job, so I'm very grateful. There's so much power inside of the visible representation that you provide by being at the forefront of media. How do you, how, how has that impacted you and your journey? I mean, for me, it's something that I've tried not to think about. I mean, it's tried to be quite unconscious for me. So, you know, it's 10 years since I went on X Factor and I didn't come out. I didn't have my moment. I just was myself. Um, and that's what I've continued to do for 10 years. So for me to get an award like this tonight, you know, it's a bit of a reminder that, oh, maybe I'm, maybe I am doing something for someone watching at home and not realizing. So. I'd rather do something unconsciously than consciously for someone, definitely. No, 100%. And by that measure then, how do you see the power or the impact in you being able to share your story? How, does, how do you see that resonating with others, landing with others? And what do you hope for that to be for others? I mean, to be perfectly honest, I mean, I remember growing up watching people like Michael Barrymore and Graham Norton and Julian Clary, who's here tonight. And, you know, that resonated with me a little bit. And it was a bit like... I'm a little bit like that, but I don't know what that means. So for kids and the youth today to sort of grow up with the likes of me and Alan and Gark and people like that, that that are on TV now, you know, it's, I've used the word before, but it's an honor because, you know, hopefully in 10 years time, they'll be bumping into me on the street going, oh my God, I remember when you were doing this and you made me feel like it was all right. So, but we try not to think about things like that because I think that's when you go a bit crazy. But. Yeah, I mean, so to be aware of that as well, such a... It is, and, yeah. and you know, someone came up to me on the street the other day and was like, you really helped me come out. And I was like, sorry? And that's incredible. And I was like, how? And they were like, we, just by being you. And I'm like, yeah. but I've done nothing. And they're like, no, you've been you. And I'm like, I don't get it. We think about like being ourselves or our whole selves as being as nothing or trivial, but there's... In a world where we're told not to be who ourselves, yeah. there's so much power. Absolutely, in absolutely. And, you know, it's 2022. You know, I've been lucky enough to come to these awards for the last seven years and... I hope in the next seven years that we won't be having this conversation. Yes. I really when do. When we talk about media and journalism and broadcasting and the sort of frenzy that can happen in media when it comes to LGBT plus narratives or trans um, narratives, how do we hold the media accountable and how, what, where are we headed? What direction do you hope? Well, in we my can opinion, in? trans men are men and trans women are women. Um, and I think that the media do have quite a grasp on what the public believe. Um, I've been victim to it with certain stories about myself over the years and it's crazy how much people will believe a headline but not read a story and you know you understand how it works so I do think that there needs to be a little bit more regulation with with how things are working but, but you're such a shining example of being that that sort of not I don't want to say responsible but being very conscious I'm of very the ways conscious. in which stories are Especially told after the last year I'm mm. very very conscious since since I've uh, got divorced so it's it's a, it's a very very conscious thing for me yeah. Um, but yeah I think I've always managed to realize what's right and what's wrong um, but yeah I, I do feel that you can say one thing and it be taken as another mm -hmm. which is why I love live TV because I know exactly what I'm exactly. saying <laughs> yeah one final question to our baby queers the younger LGBT plus people who may be seeking a career in journalism in broadcasting in media what's your advice to them my advice is do it and it might take a little while you might get a lot of no's which I did but it always turns into a yes so uh, do it you won't regret it thank you so much thank a huge so much. congratulations thank again you. thank oh my you God. so much this such a pleasure to meet you likewise probably. likewise am I seeing you on the dance floor later absolutely <laughs>